there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look at the playlist and pick and choose which of these topics interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find these as interesting. I'm aiming these tips to brand new users to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I hope that you will learn something new. So today's tip, we're going to talk about sharing uh, your maps or NPCs with a player on your table. Now I don't have any players logged into my game, but if I did, their portraits would be displayed right up here in this top, on the top of the combat tracker. And it would be like these little, like this picture here. This picture here, but it would be up here. And it's going to be bigger than that. <clears throat> So if I had these four people on my com on my uh, table, they would be lined up here the with their four portraits. And if I wanted to share a map with them, all I have to do is open my maps, open the map that I wish to share, and I'm going to right click on the map and I'm going to click share and then click share sheet. And that would share this map with anybody that is logged into my table. So that is how you share a map. Now to share an NPC is basically the same thing. For example, if somebody was a druid and they needed the NPC that they were going to uh, to uh, change into with their wild shape, then you would give them the, um, for example, if it's a wolf. They're, whoops, not gold. <laughs> Had my fingers on the wrong keys. Or coal, it wasn't even wool. Wolf, let's spell it right. Okay, wolf. Oh, clockwork wolf. Oh, that's from a different... What does that look like? Oh, it's just a W. Okay. Um, so let's just uh, say that well, our druid is going to shape shift into... Wild shape into a wolf. So to... Uh, give them access to this sheet so that they have access to the stats and the traits and the actions of the character that they are turning into. You would take this and drag the shield onto their portrait up here in the uh, on top of the combat tracker. And that's how you would share a, an NPC. So I hope that you found this tip interesting and I hope that you will continue to watch the rest of my videos and I thank you for watching. Bye bye.